This doesn't look good. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. Oh, keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with some. The dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and Dissetto won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Terawea? Why did you want to go there? I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love, Jeremy. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Perosi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto.
telescope lens. Why would he lock it up? Jeremy had found a way to enter Tarawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Combe suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see.
Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Terawea? Here we go. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. 
Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud, if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. You have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Well, I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. Uh. 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 